Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh God. We give you praise, oh God. You are great and you are mighty. You are awesome. You are amazing. You are all that which we desire to be. We bow before your throne. We give you honor and glory forever. For you're worthy to receive the praise. Oh God. in the presence of the Lord oh hallelujah 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 oh oh Hey, Vazalan. I know for a fact I would be somewhere else messed up. But because of Jesus, look at me now. I would be a mess right now. But because of Him, 
Wangenzumuntu wangenzumuntu Ngisho nabantu Bangso nipa ngayake Oh my God Omuse Jesu Omuse Gimme Omuse 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 Jesu Wamuse I don't care I don't care your money could not have done what Jesus did for you. Or let me put it this way. Money in this world will never make you that which Jesus can make you. Your intelligence. It can only work miracles. When you have Jesus on your side. Omuse. 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 Jesu. Wamuse. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, oh yes, beautiful Jesus, you're beautiful, say it again for the last time, say beautiful, right now if it wasn't of you oh, Some of you, you would be worse than you are. You need to thank God that you are not what you used to be. You may not be all God wants you to be, but thank Him that you are not that which you used to be. Or you are not that which you would have been. Have you ever been given a preview of that which you would have been without Christ? Oh, I have. Oh, I have. And sometimes I see people that I would have been. Deteriorator, die 
weighing down, losing, losing uh, even uh, weight. And, and you can see this, piece, this person is actually losing it and is dying little by little but God has kept you you kept your weight and you are still okay you have the strength you have the power you can speak you can touch you can think and you you can see that I would have been what he is if it wasn't of the Lord Woo! Forget not what God has done for you. Forget not what God has done for you. Oh, my God. My God. And you, you know what? At the same time, you see yourself growing into things that are great you're moving from one level of greatness to another level while others are deter deteriorating that they are they're losing they're losing every time they're losing uh, strength they're losing money they're losing instead you see God blessing you time and time again you're taking one step to the next level and you see God making you beautiful and making you great and people bow before you and they they respect you and they honor you they favor you every day it's because of the Lord and you're getting bigger and bigger and greater and greater and wiser and wiser every day it is the doing of the Lord and you look beautiful you were actually wearing jeans before but now you have a suit on my God every day every moment there is something new coming your way and you're not wearing the same thing every day and you you are driving a new car why because the Lord has been good to you and while others are stuck with their old cars giving them problems every day but you're driving a better car He's a good God. I will serve no foreign God except Jehovah. Oh God. Ungenzen aba muhle nami. Akasimuhle nje yena, but nami ungenzile. Oh God, Ungenzil, Naba Mosinam. Keep standing. I'm giving you. Keep standing. Everybody, stand, stand. I just want to give you this and look at your neighbor and say, Forget not. Tell your neighbor, Forget not the benefits of the Lord look at this Psalm 103 make sure that you write it down you know it bless the Lord oh my soul and forget not all his benefits what are his benefits the one who gives all your forgives all your iniquities in other words he forgives your wrongs what does he do he heals all your diseases what does he do he redeems your life from destruction he crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercies and he satisfies your mouth with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagle. Can you see that? You need never to forget 
Look at your neighbor again and say, forget not. Forget not God's benefits. And, and as a matter of fact, you need to write down everything that God is doing for you. Brethren, I, I know for a fact that there was a time where I was not able even to pay my rent. There was a time where I was not able even to pay my electricity. There was a time where I was not able to fill up the gas in my car. But today, I am able to do all those things. Why? Because of the benefits of the Lord, the blessings of the Lord. That's why I must not forget. I must not forget that there was a time where I didn't have petrol in my car. And I would ask people to help me to fill up the gas. Never forget what the Lord has done for you. Forget not. Forget. You see, usatane usbamba ngoguti ke skoshwe. Sia koshwa logun kunukula senzela god. Bese siam dauta. The reason why we doubt God is because we forgot what He did for us. Write it down. Uh, Deuteronomy. Chapter 4, verse 9. I'm just giving you this. Look at this. Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 9. Only take heed to yourself. In other words, zinagewen, zipegewen. And diligently keep yourself. Lest you forget the things your eyes have seen. And lest they depart from your heart all the days of your life. And teach them to your children. In other words, make sure that you don't forget what God has done for you. And make sure that you teach those things to those around you. Tell your children. What God has done for you. As a matter of fact, brethren, let me tell you something. Keep a book of all the things that God did for you. Have a book and write down all those things that you know. And you know that 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 you didn't do but God did. And keep that book right down. And make sure that when somebody comes into your house. And say look at what God has done. Get that book out. Anybody that comes into your house. And just say can I tell you what God did? And just read it out for that person. And say. And tell that person, you know, in the morning, I had a pain in my body. And I asked God and I prayed to God and said, please, Lord, heal me from this pain. At the end of the day, I never had that pain again. And God healed me. Why? Because you belong to him. You cannot be healed by the devil. You cannot be healed by a man. It's only God that can heal you because he owns you. He is in charge of your life. And when you speak to him, he responds. You cannot speak to God and the devil responds. Take heed to yourself. Ngawe. Unga koswa ngawe. Cheka ugotiga unkulukulu wenzani ngawe. Brethren, I can tell you there's so many times, every time when I get to a place, and just this morning, 
there was a gentleman at, at, at a gas station, meaning a, a petrol station, and he just parked next to my car. I, I, I just needed something to drink. And he parked next to my car, and he was waiting for me. And, and, and uh, when I was approaching, he actually opened the window, and he said, Pastor Benjamin, I saw this car, and I knew that it was you. I needed to let you know that you have healed me. You have healed me from the situation that I was going through. And he said, there's a song, and he actually played it right there and then, which is give me direction to move on. And he said, I was stuck. And I was in trouble. I had problems. And I prayed to God. And when I got this song, I kept on playing the song. Every time when I'm in my car. And I kept on playing. And I, it was my prayer. He said, I kept on praying and praying. And while you were singing, I said, Lord, give me direction to move on. I don't know. And you know, Pastor, as you can see me now, I want you to know that I have the direction from the Lord. And I am peaceful in my life now. And I know as to what it is that you, in other words, God wants me to do. And it is because of you. And you know, brethren, when I was driving out, and he was driving out, because he left before me, and, uh, and I was driving out, and, say, and I said, Lord, thank you for using this clay for your glory. I do not know as to, I was actually writing this song to heal me. But you are healing somebody. And I want you to know, brethren, take heed to yourself. Forget not what God is doing through you. Forget not. Now, let me give you this last scripture. Because God is doing something to, uh, through you. Philippians chapter 4 verse 8. Now, these are the things that you need to meditate and think about. That are found in Philippians 4 8. Think on these things. Don't think on negative things. On, don't meditate on negative things. But think of things that God has done for you. And guess what? When you say thank you Lord. It opens up room. For God to bless you again. I want you to lift up your hands right now. Everybody stand on your feet. Say after me Father. Help me not to forget. All the benefits. That I have received from you. I will bless your name. I will glorify your name. Help me, I pray. I pray for the anointing of remembering. I come against the spirit of forgetting. In the name of Jesus, I part ways with forgetting. Help me, O oh God, to write down Everything that you're doing for me. Things that I know without a shed of a doubt. You are doing for me. So that I may share them. So that I may tell it. So that I may speak to somebody. For you have said in your word. That we must teach it. To the others. Even to our children. So that they may teach it to their children. Help me, oh God. To be the teacher of your word. And to speak your word. And to tell of the goodness and the greatness of God in my life. I pray for this anointing. That I may be able to share. That I may write down... That I may read out to those that are around me of the things that you are doing in my life, through my life, for my life, 
in the name of Jesus Christ. I will forget not. I will remember. I will meditate on all the things that God is doing for me. I will give you praise for the things you're doing for me. I will tell of the things you're doing for me. I will forget not. I will not forget. 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 In the name of Jesus, I will tell of the goodness of the Lord. I don't care how small it is. I don't care how big it is. I don't care what the devil says. I will not forget what the Lord has done and the blessings of the Lord in my life. Even the things that I have not yet received that I know I will receive. I will praise the Lord. I will bless the Lord for the things to come and for things that are done in Jesus name I will lift your name up oh God for the things you have done and for the things you are about to do I give you praise I give you honor forever and forever amen go with God and God bless you Hug somebody, love somebody, bless somebody. Hello everybody, this is Pastor Benjamin Dube, and I'm so glad to let you know that God has been moving in a special way in the church today, and the service was amazing. The worship was just am amazing, and we thank God that um, He's promised not to leave us nor forsake us. And today, God has been speaking to us about not forgetting and to always remember uh, the benefits of the Lord. And even as we go along, we must not forget that God is the one that actually blesses us and that we are not that which we were before. We're moving from one level of glory to another level of glory. And I believe that uh, as you continue to read even um, the book of uh, Psalm 103, and God will reveal to you as to the fact that we need to bless Him, and but not forget the benefits that he has actually showered upon us. And even Deuteronomy chapter 4 verse 9, it talks about that we must look at ourselves and always, uh, 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 in other words, uh, admire the work of the Lord in our lives, or not even admire, but acknowledge the work of the Lord in our lives or through our lives. And I want you to know that God is a God that always wants us to think of the good things that he's doing for us, not what the devil is doing in our lives. And as we think and meditate on those things, then we will rise up and we will continue to blossom, we will continue to live a life of uh, blessings. And I speak a blessing over your life in Jesus' name. Amen.